also happening tonight, a Halloween bash at Gazebo Park in Greendale. That is where we have sent Cassandra McShepard. How you doing? Uh, yeah, Steve, I'm fabulous. It's actually a little wet out here, but it is not stopping the festivities. As you said, I am at the uh, Greendale Gazebo for Halloween with a G. With a G. With a G. And I'm talking to uh, Scott Fisher, owner of Gift of Wings. Gift of Wings, exactly. So you pivoted from kites to pumpkin carving? Well, sort of pivoted, yeah. It's uh, something fun for the community. We call it Halloween. It's a combination of Halloween and gift of wings. Right. And and the object is is to try to get as many people out here to carve pumpkins for free and put them on display so we can And those are up. the pumpkins that we are uh, looking at here. You've had a lot of people are carving already. Oh yeah, we have. We have about 120 pumpkins already carved. We're expecting probably another 2 to 300 uh, pumpkins carved before the weekend is over and all of these bleachers are going to be full of of lighted up uh, pumpkins that are carved and look how creative everybody is Very much so. and I'm glad that you're talking again about what's coming up because this event is really just getting started it's gonna run all through the weekend tell us about some of the things that people can expect to see and do out here well a lot of the things is first of all first and foremost we want people to come out and carve pumpkins and give us a great light up display that'll be fun and then we have pumpkin bowling we have gourd golf on <laughs> Sunday we have we have a costume contest we have a Halloween parade here at 3.30, yeah. and the costume will follow that. And then Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning, yeah. we're going to go down to the Greendale High School about a block away, and we're going to launch pumpkins <laughs> on a big catapult, and it's going to be fun. Uh, Steve, my question is, what did a pumpkin do to him? <laughs> I'm going to toss it back to you, but come back because there's so much more to talk about and see here from Halloween. We, we can all get behind a little pumpkin chunkin, if you know what I'm talking about. Cassandra, yeah. thank you. If you're still trying to find that perfect pumpkin to carve out this weekend, other spots include Buffalo Bill's Pumpkin Farm in Franklin, the West Dallas Farmer's Market, and the Silver Spring Pumpkin Farm just north of Milwaukee.